Hey what's up, my name is Martin, I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game, here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel, so if you want to see more details about what I have done before, check the link in the corner and in the description. So in this tutorial we are gonna make a physics trigger. Uh, we, we will see how we use physics trigger in uh, Cocos Creator. We already made this uh, simple platformer prototype before. Uh, check the link in the corner to watch these tutorials and see how we achieve this point in Cocos Creator. Uh, so we already have a uh, feature uh, to throw a bomb and the bombs uh, explode in two seconds after we throw them. So what I want to achieve in this tutorial is place the bombs in level and uh, trigger them when we close them uh, and uh, in a circle. So let's start. First uh, we already have a bomb prefab here and this prefab uh, is uh, triggering itself uh, for explosion in two seconds. So first I will uh, edit this prefab before starting everything. I want to uh, uncheck this play on load feature because we don't want to uh, trigger the explosion. We want to trigger the explosion when we get the uh, get close to the bomb. So how uh, can we achieve this? So first we already have uh, a polygon collider here which defines the physical shape of the bomb itself but I want to add another um, collider circle collider uh, to uh, be used as um, trigger okay so I'm going to physics component collider and circle collider so let's make it a little larger so when we hit this area this will trigger the explosion okay this is good uh, this size is okay so I will check the sensor option here because we don't want to um, get any physical reaction when we uh, touch this circle collider and keep everything zero and I want to make density zero but zero density is not working in physics so we need to make it a very small number so we don't want uh, this uh, Collider will affect our physics simulator. Maybe, maybe we can add another zero. I don't know. Hope it works. So this will be our trigger. Uh, so uh, before go uh, go to code editor, we need to uh, enable contact listener here. If we didn't, if we don't enable this uh, listener uh, feature, it will it will not uh, trigger any uh, uh, any callbacks when uh, some collision occurred. So we just want to enable this one and save. Um, by the way, uh, when we get close and uh, we enter the trigger area, I want to make a physical uh, reaction that. Uh, make us um, understand the bomb is triggered okay so we already have the bomb sprite here I will duplicate this one and make it flash flashing sprites okay I just made a white sprite out of the bomb PNG itself and drag and drop this sprite into the sprite frame of flashing uh, maybe you can use a different color maybe a little lower opacity okay i want to animate this sprite like this for example before two seconds it should blink then explode so we already have an animation here for bomb itself um, this is the animation so I want to keep things organized so I want to move this circle collider 
above because here is the polygon collider this is circle collider and I have animation here and uh, yeah bomb controller here so we have bomb explosion and uh, click here to start editing the animation itself actually we have two seconds before explosion this is this uh, empty area it explodes so um, what I want to do is um, flash this guy okay so we can add property um, maybe opacity works better this should be zero uh, sorry I just want to change the opacity they remember the maximum opacity so 200 is fine we want to start with zero and 200 uh, just make 10 frames okay 10 20 frames okay so this should be 40 frames make it zero 40 make it 200 this should be blink okay zero 200 and zero this should look like this one woo, 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 woo. then explode okay maybe we can make it a little faster because I didn't like the speed of blink this should be very distracting effect because we are approaching a bomb before it explodes yeah this is much better so let's copy this and paste here yes What is it? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Okay. This should be blinking like that. Then explodes. Okay. We don't see explosion here because we used uh, particle effects, and particle effects is not in preview mode here. So just save it and go out. And maybe we can adjust the opacity to zero manually actually it is uh, let's check this out it's actually zero but it remembers the number we edited animation before okay save this one okay check this out okay close so I will put bomb here okay so when player gets this area bomb animation should be triggering okay so let's add uh, several lines of code for bomb control um, let's go here and choose bomb control this is the script file open it so in Cocos, Cocos Creator, we have a uh, callback for collisions, begin contact. So let me show you the uh, manual. Actually, you can go to Cocos Creator manual and check what how it uh, how it works. We have uh, on begin contact on end contact on pre solve on post solve these are not, not necessary for now uh, we just use uh, on begin contact so here this function will be called when uh, collision tree uh, collision happens for our sensor and this is the other collider other collider that 
not. Uh, so here we need to understand this is player or not because we have uh, other objects in game actually these are also objects and maybe we also have other um, decorative objects or maybe enemies but we just want to enable the triggering for our player character okay so how we can uh, understand the colliding uh, node is our player character so we may try to get player component from the node other collider dot node dot get components player control if it has a player control on the node so we we can understand this is the player but this is not very good solution because each time we call this uh, cocos will uh, search player control string and this is not uh, very ideal situation so I will uh, make a little update in player control here this is very important trick also in player control script in onload function I will add this dot not dot player control because this uh, this line makes uh, player control component is accessible by not that player control uh, variable so you don't need to get player control you can just use this other collider that not that player control so if we have this component or this variable defines we know this is the player so let's trigger the animation so how we can trigger the animation this dot not dot get component cc animation dot play that's easy let's check the uh, bomb to understand what's happening here we have an animation control and we have a default clip here if we get this component and call play which is defined in cocos creator api uh, the animation will be uh, triggered okay save and go back let's make this player a little far away <clears throat> okay let's see if everything is okay or not yeah bump is here and still not triggered I get closer and it's triggered and exploded very good it works well <laughs> I'm happy now so let's put several bombs okay maybe we can put another one here so we made very dangerous place for a player oh go away oh go away oh. yeah okay guys this is the end for this tutorial so hope you like it and i really like this final stage <laughs> So check links in the corner in the description, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, comment, like, and you know what to do. See you. Bye.